All right, so we've got a robot now so it can calibrate the front cloth. Um, not necessary on every robot, but it's just an interesting thing to know how to do. So if you weren't to do this in your main code, that's okay. Um, the next thing that we want to do though is we need to start writing a code to pick up an object. So I've got my little game element here I designed. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Just something simple for this robot to pick up. Um, so essentially what I want to do is I want that robot to drive forward until it sees the game element. Then I want it to close its claw and lift it up. So to get it to drive forward, I think everyone's had an idea of how we've done that before. We can use the drive train and we've got this just drive forward command. Now being we don't know where this is going to be placed, how close or how far back it's going to be, we can't really assign it a time. So I'm just going to say drive forward. So the robot's going to drive forward indefinitely at this point. So I want it to drive forward until that distance sensor at the front picks something up. Um, so if I come down and I look at my controls, I've got a wait until command, which we, we already used with the bumper. So I'm going to say wait until I'm going to come to my operations, and this is the first time I've used it, these, but there's a, a bunch here that we can say greater than a value, less than a value, equal to a value. You can have and greater than and less than or not. So you, you have a bunch of options here. But I'm going to say less than 50. So I'm going to say wait until I want to put my distance sensor in here and say less than 50. So coming down. There's my distance in millimeters. So drive forward, wait until distance um, is less than 50. And then let's just say drive train, stop driving. So real, real basic here. Um, and apparently I need to turn on the robot. Give that a, a turn on, hold down the check mark. Gonna put that a little bit closer. Sometimes it doesn't quite pick it up all the time. All right, so we'll download that one. And once it downloads, we'll hit play, run. All right, so we'll hit run. So we're gonna see calibration, and it's driving forward until our little game element stops it. Cool. So I'll stop that. And let's push the robot back and move the game out. So we've got it now. So the robot is driving forward until it's driving forward until that stops. Let's put that down here at the corner. All right. So the next step that we want to do is we want that claw to start closing in. So it's driving forward. It stopped. So at this point, we are going to look at our motors. So let's say we can spin the claw mo motor forward for 90 degrees. That might get us somewhere with that closing. So we'll try that. Let's go download and run and see what happens. Robot calibrates, drives forward, and the arm closed, but 90 degrees was nowhere near enough for that to grab. So let's say, let's change that 90 degrees to 180 and we'll download that to the robot and we'll run that. So here we go, here's our new value. Calibration. And yeah, it looks like that's grabbed it. Cool. So we can stop that. And we can open this up. And we'll just back that up again. So now we know that the robot can drive forward and it's gonna grab grab the guy. So the next thing, once we've closed it, we want to have the lift um, lifted up. So I've got the option, I can say, spin to position 90 degrees. Let's drop that in here again. But this time, let's say arm. And let's say turns. Let's do, let's do two turns. So that's two revolutions of the motor. All right, so we can do that. Now, the issue here is I have used positions instead of doing degrees. 
So what's going to happen here is it doesn't, there's a chance that it's not set at zero. It should be, but we don't know yet. So I'm going to grab this set claw position and set it to zero. And I'm just going to put this in between and I'm going to say arms. So it doesn't really matter if it's zero degrees or turns. It's just going to set that to zero before it moves. Um, might not have had to do that, but this way, if something's changed or wrong, it's like a little self calibration. So I'm going to download that again. And let's play it and see what happens. So calibrate, open, drive forward, grab our thing, pick it up. Now I definitely probably want my claw to close a bit more. Let's move that down. So I want that claw, let's say 210, might give me a little more pull. Um, set arm, so arm spins position. And then I'm gonna add another one here. I'm gonna say stop arm. And let's see. Set, I'm gonna say set arm stopping to hold. So now when it stops the arm down here, it should just hold it. So there's a guy again. I think we might have turned off the robot. Don't know why the robot decided it wanted to turn off, but it did. So let's download that. And we'll run again. So calibrate, drive forward, picks it up. There we go. Um, okay, apparently it's turning itself off and it lifts it up. Bit of a bug to work out there, but I think we're getting on, figuring out how this works. Well, it looks like we've got a battery that is out of power. So we're gonna call this video three finished and we will come back and take a look at the next steps in the next video.